doing tonight? All right. It's a privilege to have you here this evening. And we're here just to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's such a privilege to see your glorious faces tonight. Let me make mention tonight, if you happen to be a first-time visitor, we have a little visitor's card that should be located in front of you on either side of the hymnals. If you would just take that and, and fill that out, and on your way out this evening, if you would just hand it to one of the ushers at the door, uh, we would greatly appreciate that. We can send you a little more information and let you know of the activities taking place here at First Assembly. How many is glad to be here tonight? Let me see your hand. Could everybody go ahead and stand to your feet with us? Amen. Let's go ahead and sing that chorus, Let the Redeemed of the Lord Say So. Everybody, it's a very simple chorus. If you're not familiar with the words, after we sing it through once, you'll know the words. And uh, just put your hands together, and let's make a joyful noise to the Lord. Oh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm redeemed, I'm redeemed, praise the Lord. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy. Jesus, we're thankful for this time together, this time that we could come and praise and worship you. And Lord Jesus, we just ask that you touch each person here tonight, from the oldest to the youngest. The Lord, let your blessings flow through them. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Praise God. We're going to go ahead and turn this program over to our kids at this time. We're going to ask Sister Beverly to come and give her a hand clap as she comes tonight. The nursery class or beginners class. Oh, I don't know what class it is anymore. <laughs> anyway, these are the four and five year olds that uh, Shauna Clark helps me with, and we're going to start our part of the program with Heston. Going to come up and say the welcome, Heston. And they're each going to introduce their own self, okay? We're so glad you came tonight to hear us speak and sing. We want to warn God's dear son, for he's our Lord and King. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley Allen. Shepherds, the 
that Jesus was here. Mike Jones. Thank you, dear God, for the gift of love that you sent us from heaven above. Suzanne Rivera.
was red and bright and gay. Inside the attack, I was alone. <coughs> even Mom and Ray. season, but I think winter time is best for a very special reason. Winter time brings Christmas time, and Christmas time brings cheer. It is the birthday of our King, the one we, our Savior we hold so dear. So we must enjoy this, so we must enjoy Christmas, but not just think of me, we must think of others who need Christianity. Each of us must lay aside of a, a part of our money to share with at this blessed Christmas season with all people everywhere.
they did a good job, didn't they? All right, give them another hand clap. Praise God. We'd like you, before we go into this illustrated sermon tonight, for everyone to stand one more time. My dad always said, he said, your mind can't comprehend any more than your seat can endure. <laughs> we want to thank you for coming this evening. We have one more presentation that we'd like to present tonight. I'd like for all those that are in the illustrated sermon to go ahead and take their places. We'd like to go ahead and sing Amazing Grace tonight. How, how many knows that, that song, Amazing Grace? All right, let's sing it together. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. coming tonight. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 2, Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, and I want you to search diligently for the young child. And 
when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I might come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. You know, we've celebrated several Christmases, but I believe that this Christmas can be the greatest Christmas that you'll ever experience as you experience miracles. I believe there's people here tonight that need a miracle this Christmas. You need a miracle in your financial area. You might need a miracle in your spiritual area. You might need a miracle in, in emotional areas. I'm not sure, but I know tonight that there's people here that do indeed need a miracle. And as we present this production tonight, we want you to look upon Jesus as a true miracle giver. He can reach in, folks, and he can touch your heart, and he can touch your life, and he can make you brand spanking new in Jesus. And I believe tonight can be a miracle for you. tonight to worship Jesus, to lift up your heart and lift up your voice unto him, even to lift up your hands and give God the praise and give him all the glory. I believe tonight that Jesus will touch you if you but praise him. The Bible says tonight that he inhabits the praises of our people. There was a young lady that came to church this morning and she walked several blocks in the, in the freezing cold just to come to church. And I asked her, I said, why didn't you call somebody and and have them pick you up and bring you. She said, I just wanted to come and experience a true sacrifice of giving to the Lord. And as we look upon these wise men tonight, we can realize that they traveled a long ways for a long time just to see a newborn child. This child who is Jesus, our Lord and Savior, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Bible says that his name is Emmanuel, God with us. And I believe tonight, I feel his presence here tonight. I believe that Jesus is in this building tonight, ready to give you a miracle. I believe in miracles. I saw a woman one time that she was sick in her body and she still walked through the cold just to come and just to worship Jesus. And as she lifted up her hands to God and just began to praise him, God instantly touched her and healed her of her affliction. 
Yes, I'm so glad that we can give praise and that we can give glory to God. Just like these three wise men did centuries ago, we can still praise Him today. tonight that Jesus can live in your heart, that he can live in your life, that he can give you a new life. The Bible says that this was a miraculous supernatural birth. God can give you a new birth. He can give you a new beginning. He can come in and let your life start all over again. My, this is beautiful. We see the shepherds. We see the three wise men. Mary and Joseph my goodness and the Christ child what a beautiful sight how does it feel to worship the Christ child this is a tremendous time we look forward to this all our lives we've received much more than we've given it's a tremendous time yes I believe that we've received much more than we've given I've never experienced a time in my life when I've worshipped Jesus that I've never received more than what I've given to Him. And I'm so thankful, hallelujah, that Jesus is alive today. That He lives in your lives and can touch you. And that He can bless you. The Bible says to give, and it will be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run it over, will be placed into your bosom. As you give to Jesus tonight with your praise and with your worship and lift up your heart to him, I guarantee you that Jesus will give so much back to you in return. My, what a beautiful sight. You know, folks, this is a miracle. This Christ child that came and he was born to Mary and Joseph, many folks thought that he would come as a glorious king. But yet he came as a little babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and was laid in a manger. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle.
my goodness, could this be a miracle? I remember reading in the Bible of a widow from a town called Nain whose son had died and they were carrying him out of the gate of the city, taken into the graveyard to bury him, to perform the funeral service. I look among the pallbearers and the crowd of people as they weep, as they cry, as they mourn for their friend that has died. Oh, I can imagine the mother how she must feel. This was her only son. She had already lost her husband. She doesn't have anybody left. Oh, I've got to do something. I've got to try and comfort her. It's okay. It's okay. Jesus can make everything better. But it's too late. It's too late. Don't cry, my brothers. Don't cry, my sisters. Don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Young man, I say to you, arise. Substitutes. I tried all these various things to try to find life, to try to find an answer and a true meaning. But when Jesus touched me, when I called out to him and said, Lord, forgive me of my sins and come into my heart and come into my life spiritually, he raised me from the dead and I have life today. I was talking to my mother just this evening before the service 
on the telephone. And there was such a joy in her voice because she knew that her son was born again, that he had a new birth in Jesus Christ. He had an actual experience with Jesus. We asked this widow woman. We said, Jesus can make everything better. But she says, it's too late. It's too late. My son is dead. Some of you have relatives, aunts and uncles, moms and dads, sons and daughters. They may not be serving Jesus. And you might think that it's too late. They can never be saved. They're so far back. They've fallen so far back into sin. But it's never too late with Jesus. The Bible tells me that with God, all things are possible. I believe this Christmas can be a special one. There is a man that came 40-something years old, came five weeks ago. And he came up to this altar and he gave his heart and his life to Jesus Christ. He had the nickname by the name of Blindness. His name is Stephen. He gave his heart and his life to Jesus Christ and he stood at this altar and he weeped like a baby as Jesus came in and touched him and gave him a new life in Christ Jesus. He came back the next Sunday night and he says, my heart feels this big. I've never felt so alive and so full of joy and so full of peace. God can give you joy. God can give you peace. He can give you a new life in Christ Jesus. The Bible tells me tonight that they took Jesus and they nailed him to a cross and he shed his blood for you and I so that we could simply call upon him and ask of his forgiveness and that he would come into our hearts and into our lives. The Bible says that after he had died on the cross that they took him and they laid him in a tomb. He was in that tomb for three days but on the third day he rose again. You see, Jesus performed all kinds of miracles. But the real reason Jesus was born was that he might die and give redemption to this world so that we might have a new life. But could there still be another miracle? At least one more? Could there still be another miracle? Jesus gave me a happy day when he came into my heart.
and when he came into my life. I'd like to ask at this time if, if we could just turn the video cameras off for just a few moments. Amen. I'd like to ask Nate. Amen. Isn't he real? There's a lot of ponies running around this world tonight, but Jesus is real. He's genuine. Amen. I'd like to tell you a story. You know, Christmas, the true meaning of Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ. But there's, there's not very many people that know about a fellow by the name of St. Nick. Now, there's a fellow by the name of St. Nick that lived a long, long time ago. And he made little toys for little kids, and, and he put them in a bag, and he took them around. There he is. Merry Christmas. All right. Just stand out and clap. Let me tell something else about St. Nick. Did you know he was born again? He knew Jesus as the Savior and Lord. Not too many people know about that. Amen. coming tonight. It looks like I think all of you had fun. Some of you are still grinning. I don't know if it's frozen fries or what, but we have a few present, uh, present the right word, a few gifts to give out. So if I'll get them this time. Sure. Santa brought these earlier. Baron, would you like to come up here, please? And Heston? And where is Sister Hula? Hi, Nina. Okay, this one from the church to you, Heston, okay? <laughs> Packaging department kind of youth loop. Here's your spare. Oh, <laughs> this one must be for the boss. For the boss. <laughs> <laughs> the, the boss we have on earth here. We're not, we're not talking about the boss. <laughs> Ready yet? Yeah. All right. That's nice. 
Hey, that's great. Oh, right, thank you. <laughs> or would you rather have what is behind door number one? Do I have to trade this in? Yeah. Make your choice. What's in the cart or what's behind door number one? And I'll guarantee you it's not a Buick Regal. I want to spin the wheel first. No, I'm going to spin the wheel. Take the door. I'll take the door. Bobby, open the door. Yeah, I'm back here. Here. Well, come here. I'm not going to pull it in here. It's right there. It's Buick Regal. Oh, man. Oh, you can wash the dishes. <laughs> Wash dishes anymore. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> yeah, that's neat. Praise the Lord. Man, thank you very much. Well, I don't have to do dishes anymore. <laughs> Rhonda, it's your job to push the button now. <laughs> I have to tell you, she's crying. I try not to look her off right too. But uh, we used to, when we lived in Colorado a few years ago, we had a, a, a townhouse and it had a washing machine or dishwasher in it and I didn't know that you wasn't supposed to put uh, laundry detergent in the thing. I put I think two cups of laundry detergent and all of a sudden that thing started bubbling and there were suds all over the kitchen floor so we got out from mop and we mopped up the floor and scooped out all the suds so you're gonna have to show us how to work that thing. <laughs> all right man that's great. I wish I had something to give you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. All right. Who all did that? Everybody? Church. Well, man. Church. Praise God. Thank you. All right. You've been our pastor. Hey. Amen. Amen. Man, this is a Merry Christmas, you know what? It's, it's neat just to get together as family. I believe every single person in this building tonight is family. And that's a wonderful thing. Amen. Let's stand to our feet tonight. We're going to go ahead and close this service. Man, we love you guys. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Let's sing Silent Night. If I can't remember all the words, you're just going to have to help me. Silent Night. Christmas anybody can have. Lord, truly let this Christmas be a Christmas of miracles in all of our hearts and in all of our lives. And we give reverence unto you, God. We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. What I want you to do is we just miss you. I want you to hug somebody and tell them Merry Christmas and God bless you. We love each and every one of you. God bless you. And let this Christmas be a miracle one for you. God bless you.
special gift for all of you. Santa Claus has a, a bag of treats to hand you as you leave tonight. God bless you. Come on, you go this way. Hey, very good. I want to thank you guys. We're going to have to do this again. How about next year? I'll be here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Thank you.